Get out your paint, your markers, your crepas, whatever art supplies you have, because we have Dr. Dean, the art doctor here. He's the author of a new book, Creating Abstract Art. Hello. Yeah. We also have award-winning artist Paul Lavalley here to make masterpieces. Today's focus is we're going to talk about uh, still life, but we're attacking it in two different ways. We have abstract art and we have realism. Now, tell us about these two art movements. Uh, well, Paul and I have been friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a realist. I'm an abstract painter. We're both teachers. and and artists, but uh, regardless, uh, we're still friends. Uh, <laughs> so you haven't let the difference in your right. art uh, divide you. R right. Very important. But, so. um, you know, uh, Paul can also talk about this, but what we uh, both really care about is helping <coughs> people enjoy making art. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we're trying to do in the workshops we're going to be teaching uh, is to get people to see the, the broad range of possibilities mm -hmm. for making things from the Trump loy realist mm -hmm. to uh, to the completely abstract. And speaking of abstract, we have a piece uh, right here, and this is something that's it's a little bit newer when it comes to the art world. Talk about the movement a little bit and how it's represented and how people at home can do it. Well, it's not frankly not all that new. Yeah, <laughs> abstraction's been around for a long time. But uh, for my own work, <coughs> um, I kind of do things in reverse, where I'm. Uh, not necessarily looking at something. Start with a blank canvas and I work from there. Uh, and one of the things that I also do uh, that, uh, that you know, Paul's uh, most familiar with is look at something like a still life and, uh, uh, or a figure or a landscape mm -hmm. and basically interpret it. You know, all painting is an interpretation because <coughs> You can't eat a Cezanne apple. That's a very good point. Now, what we're looking at right now, that's the still life that both of you are working on. We also have it in front of us. So, Dean, I'm going to let you go towards your canvas and work a little bit. Uh, Paul, you come from more of the realistic side, is that right? Correct. Now, uh, take us through that. That's pretty much just trying to capture this as it is. Is that right? Um, yes, but there's many versions of that, and our similarities are that for the most part, I start off almost abstract. Mm -hmm. And then I push it, push it, and I'm going more towards what I see, but there's a matter of feeling. That's the other element that comes into it. And that's what makes each art piece different. If you had uh, some advice for people out there who are thinking about getting into painting and even just doing it for fun, what would you suggest? And also right now, we're looking at uh, the real uh, photograph and then your interpretation of it in a real estate. And it looks fantastic, by the oh, way. Well, thank you very much. Um, people shouldn't be afraid. That's what, as Dean was saying, we like to uh, encourage students. Sometimes they feel um, threatened and uh, a little nervous about producing art and, and being judged for it. Mm -hmm. And really, um, as you've heard many times it's the journey that's so important it's learning and, well, it's, and it's the, the process it's the process yeah. and it's it, doing something that just uh, gets you a little bit out of your head it's relaxing it's cathartic Absolutely. it's so many different things now the one right behind you you've just been working on this since you got here today about an hour ago if we can yep. get a shot of it it's absolutely amazing but you can see where this is starting off still a little bit abstract mm -hmm. and trying to capture the motion, the feeling of the painting. And then eventually it'll become something like we have right over here. And I'm going to head on back to Dean because Dean yep. is taking the abstract approach to it. And uh, we have some of your finished pieces here. Uh, this looks, so, so what's your method your madness? When you first look at the blank canvas, what are you thinking? Uh, there are different modes. What I'm doing right now is concentrating on like rhythms and shapes mm -hmm. that I see. And so... Uh, the work goes through a lot of transformations. Mm -hmm. and, and the ones that we're seeing on the screen, we can see the transformation. These are right. uh, two different uh, paintings that you've done. Once again, the, the one on the side is the photograph. The other one is your interpretation as an abstract artist. They, right. And they both look great. Yeah. Well, it's um, a, kind of this gauge between how abstract is it. Sometimes mm -hmm. I've uh, thought there should be a abstraction Geiger counter where you put something up and it, it ticks. <laughs> uh, you know, this one would be... Uh, but the thing that you've always said to me, and it, and it comes back to me, and I love it, is the only mistake that you can make in art is not making art. It's not making art. The, the best thing to do is something, because it's better than nothing. Thank well, you so much for yeah, sharing this with us. And use today. your imagination. Right, because yep. that's uh, the only thing you can do. Thank yep. you so much, Paul. You're it's welcome. always a pleasure having you here. Thank and you, coming sir. up on